here is why. Here is why page two is so good. And page one. Because if you and I are ever to have a chance to stand before God and not be thrown into the pit of hell, every day you must never have anything in your life that is more important to you than God. God must be the ultimate 24-7 in your life. Not sure about you, but <coughs> I have failed drastically. <coughs> Much more than you have, because I have a lot more practice at being more concerned about myself than I am the Lord. <coughs> if you are to stand before the Lord, you must never take the name of the Lord carelessly or in vain. So every word that you have ever spoken must be truthful, honest, full of integrity, honoring God Almighty in everything you've said. I'm not sure if you've ever had an issue with that, but I miserably have failed today on one and two. If you're going to stand before the Lord, you also need another ladder that you always have to honor mom and dad. Always. All the time. No matter who they are, what mistakes they make, you have to honor them. And I have failed there. Number four, you are not to take the life of another. And the sad thing about that, I could sit here and say, well, I haven't. But Jesus then said, uh, have you ever thought about somebody and thought, like to punch them? Or even, that person is a fool, Racha. Then you have killed them. So I have probably messed up there as well. And then, you are never to wish that you had something that somebody else has. Hair color, muscles, car, notebook, cell phone, anything. That you always, always, always are just content with what you have. So I'm all for five. And that's pretty damning for me. And then I'm not supposed to hit somebody else. Thought about it, probably. Don't wish for something that's not yours. Don't look pornographically at someone else. Not to lie, not to cheat, not to steal. And again, I'm all for six and seven and eight and nine and ten and beyond. I'm hopeless. And so are you. We're hopeless and damned. That is what is so awesome about these first two pages. This is good news. This is good news because you've seen already from line two, well, line one, who is going to do all of these things perfectly? We don't know, but we know it's not you and it's not me. God is providing the way. God is doing this. And I'm grateful. I am so grateful. So we will go to page two. And I have your groups here. We're going to find out what in the world you guys talked about and discussed this week. And don't worry about it. Your grade depends on it. Your grade depends on your discussion. Not that you're right in everything that you say, but you've got to discuss. 